Don't be a martial artist for the money. Don't be a martial artist because you think you can beat somebody. Do it to be a better you for everybody else. You know, when you're up against somebody, you, oh, I should have blocked that. You're learning. You know, you, it's not you against them. It's actually you working with source. I'm really grateful for those strokes. It was touch and go. And the doctors told me, get your paperwork. You know, dude, you're, you're checking out. I just got, you know, a new lease on life. And I'm able to kind of really uh, resonate uh, with, with, with that gratitude right now. And, and even the martial stuff is just getting more fun. But it was a flight time, that Winnie the Pooh moment that I've been searching for and didn't know what I was searching for. I found it. And now that I've made it through a stroke, I want to share that. I want creative energy. I'm not competing with anyone. I'd be bummed if I was, because these guys are young guys now. They're all buff and they're doing all this amazing stuff. I don't want to compete with anybody. I know how to tell the truth with my own body. Maintain your own identity and expand and contract whatever information is given to you. Take it forward, take it back, and try to see the bigger picture. If you look for the differences in techniques, it's all very fine. But if you see the similarities, you'll find your own genius. I'll be uh, 60 in April, and I feel better than I did when I was 40. When your frequency's up, you know it. And when it's down, you know it too. But you get stuck down there, you know, where the news is and where the crud is. It's really easy to kind of get drugged through there, even though you know better. Day in, day out, be a gentleman, you know, think before you speak. Keep your wits about you, you know, protect yourself at all times. At the same time, listen. The best version of yourself is you as a martial artist.